children welcome back to the session hope you all are fine and safe at home today we are going to see lesson 3 mastering tables in ms word 2010 part 2 in computer science in our previous session we have studied about creating a table in ms word 2010 then inserting a row or column in the existing table using table tools layout tab and then deleting a row or column in the existing table using table tool layout tab isn't it today we are going to learn about merging and splitting cells resizing tables applying borders and shading okay children now we will learn about how to merging and splitting the cells the process of combining two or more cells in the same row or column into a single cell is called merging okay i have already made one table in the document okay now i am going to teach you how to merge the cells okay now let us see the steps to merge the cells okay first we have select the cells of any row or column to be merged then select the layout tab from the table tools contextual tab then click the merge cells button from the merge group now you can see the selected cells get merged into one cell okay children we will learn about splitting cells the process of breaking a single cell into multiple cells in table is called splitting okay now let us see the steps to split the cells first we have select the cell or cells to be split okay now i have select one cell then select the layout tab from table tools contextual tab then click the split cells button from the merge group now you can see one dialog box open enter the number of rows or columns to be split now i am going to type number of columns box i need three columns so i have typed 3 no need to change the rows okay then click okay button you can see the single cell split into three columns learn how to resize the table the size of the table can be altered using the auto fit feature okay first you have to select the layout tab from the table tools contextual tab then click the auto fit drop down button now you can see the auto fit drop down menu has three options okay now let us see one by one first auto fit contents which means adjust the column width based on the entered data now i am going to select the first one auto fit contents now you can see the column width are adjusted based on the entered data this one is small and this one is big you can see next auto fit window see adjust the table based on the window margins that is set the next fixed column width now i am going to select this one next i am going to type something on it okay now you can see if we write anything in it it will be automatically come to the next line because the size has been fixed more option for resizing the tables 
now i am going to click on the table you can see two points on there as you desire us you can use this option to change the size and the place of the table okay now i am going to drag this point you can see the table size will be changed now i am going to drag on this point now you can see the table place will be changed in the document okay children now we will learn about align the text in a table the text direction in a table can be changed under this option according to the users wishes okay first click the text inside the table then click the cells where we want to align the text okay then click the layout tab from the table tools contextual tab then click the text direction button from the alignment group now you can see the text changes whenever i click see the text will be changed the text gets aligned automatically according to the selections let us see how to apply borders and shading to the table this feature helps to enhance the appearance of the table okay now let us see the steps to apply borders and shading okay first you have to select the table use this options to select the table then select the design tab from the table tools contextual tab then click the borders drop down button and select the borders and shading option from table styles group now you can see the dialog box appears on the screen choose the desired options from this select the shading tab now under the fill section you can see the one drop down button on there click the drop down button to select the desired color from the color palette now i'm going to select the yellow color then click okay button now you can see the selected color will be filled with the table okay children now let us revise whatever we have learned today the process of combining two or more cells in the same row or column into a single cell is called merging the process of breaking a single cell into multiple cells in a table is called splitting the size of the table can be altered using the auto fit option borders and shading features helps to enhance the appearance of the table okay children i hope you have understood today's concept thank you